Okay, this is a 2.1 topic, but I noticed that in my pie, it came up here rather than when we were talking about the 2.1 section. So we'll go ahead and talk about it now. It says graphing linear functions to the parent function y equals x. And it says complete each statement below. So there's two parts to the problem. And I've written out everything that's there. And I even have the arrows to explain what are the options to fill in this blank. And the same thing here, what are the options to fill in that blank. And I've even written some little notes on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and start to talk about it. And then um, I'll explain how you know whether or not uh, these things, what they are. Okay. So here it says complete the statements below about the graphs of y equals one third x and y equals x. Compared to the graph of y equals x, the graph of y equals one third x is steeper, equally steep, or less steep. Those are my options for this first part, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to consider the first equation that they gave you and then the second equation they gave you for this part, okay? Now, what you need to do is take the absolute value of the first slope and compare it to the absolute value of the second slope. So in my case, my slope here, the absolute value of one third is one third, and then the slope here is actually an invisible one, and so then it's a, a one. Now here's the situation. If the M1 is greater than M2, then you have a steeper case. If, and it should be the absolute value, Okay, we don't care about the sign, just the numbers. Okay, the sign will tell me what direction it goes, but that's not what they're asking me. All they're asking me is whether it's steep, equally steep, or less steep. Now, if the absolute value of M1 equals the absolute value of M2, then they are equally steep. And then if the absolute value of M1 is less than the absolute value of M2, then our graph is less steep. Now my relationship is a positive one third you could, and a one. Now one third is actually less than one, which means I have this situation happening for part A, okay? So in the drop down arrow, I would select less steep for this particular problem. Now over here it says compared to the graph of y equals x, the graph of y equals one third x intersects the y axis at, and now you're gonna compare b1 to b2. So what is the y intercept here? The y intercept there is zero, so b1 equals zero. And then b2, it also does not have a plus something. So the y-intercept for the second equation is also zero. Now, if B1, um, actually labeled these wrong, okay? Just Two. Oh man, I'm going all over the place here. Okay, so the and y equals x will always be the second pair. Okay, you're going to compare the one you were given and the different one for all the different problems to the x, y equals x. So here that means that b1 would be this guy's y intercept, which is still zero. And B2 would be this guy's y-intercept, which is also zero, okay? So if B1 is bigger than B2, then, and this one you do include the sign. The sign is important here. Here, the sign is not important. So if B1 is bigger than B2, then they intersect at a higher point. 
if B1 equals B2, then they intersect at the same point. And then if B1 is less than B2, then they intersect at a lower point. And since I have zero and zero, those are equivalent to each other, I would select the same point here. So there's a lot of bits of information. Let's try to do another problem where we're starting from scratch. Um, and then that way we can put the pieces together a little bit more smoothly this time, okay? So here it says, complete the statements below about the graphs of this equation and this equation. So since this was the first one, I'm going to identify M1, which is one, and B1, which is a positive two. And this was the second equation they gave me. So M1 is one, and B, or I'm sorry, M2 is one, and B2 is zero, because they're adding or subtracting a y-intercept, okay? And so now I'm gonna compare. Now, what is the absolute value of one compared to the absolute value of one? I get one and one, and those are actually equal to one another, so this one has is equally as steep as the other. Now for the intersections of the y-axis. Here I have B1, which is two, and B2, which is zero. What is their relationship? Two is greater than zero, which means I would have a y-intercept at a higher point than the graph of y equals x. So that one went a little bit smoother um, than the previous problem just because we had already been introduced by everything and we had already labeled everything from the very beginning.